Here is a guide on how to get Grand Chef Secret Keyblade. In order to unlock this fucking Keyblade, your Bistro needs to have 5 stars. Why do I say fucking Keyblade? Well, because the process to get to these 5 stars is pain in the arse. Prepare for lots of goddamn ingredient hunts. But to make things easier for you, I'll show you where to get some top ones like sea bass, raspberry, portobello, blackberry, how to farm fruits, vegetables and all the other bullshit that's needed to get this goddamn keyblade. Why do you need all these ingredients? Well, because to get the restaurant to 5 stars, every recipe from Classic Menu needs to be cooked with excellent rank. One thing that can help tremendously is Gourmand Ring that improves chances of getting excellent rank while cooking. Also, by having it equipped, you'll get one more ingredient when picking them up. Gourmand Ring is obtained by reaching one star in the restaurant, so quite easily. These minigames are straightforward, so I'm not gonna waste time explaining how they work. I know that eggs are problematic, but there's no tip I can give you that can make you crack the eggs with excellent rank easier. You just gotta be really sensitive when moving analog sticks. So now you know how to get this bloody keyblade. Let's talk about the ingredients. Lots of simple ingredients can be found in Mughal shop. So go there, buy everything that you can, so that as many recipes as possible are unlocked. You unlock recipes by acquiring ingredients and bringing them back to that red bastard. Second thing to know is that there are flans all across the world with their minigames that drop specific fruit. Grapes, strawberry, banana and so on. Achieve decent enough rank and you'll get one. Achieve really high score and you're gonna get three of them at once as a reward. Third thing is 100 acre woods. This is the only place where you can get honey by playing flower garden minigame. By playing other games you can also get vegetables and fruit. But they are so mind-numbingly boring that I don't think you're gonna stay here for a long time. Instead there are other ways how to farm fruits and vegetables. Go to Caribbean and to Settlement Waypoint or Docks, doesn't matter, both of them work. Start smashing everything where you see fruit. Forget about crates and all the other bullshit, that won't give you any fruit, vegetables or whatnot. It needs to be crate filled with fruit, vegetables and so on in order to drop it. Caribbean also has specific meat that you can get. These crates have special yellow color. Go to Settlement Waypoint and smash this yellow crate. Every time you will get quail. To get filet mignon, teleport to docks and follow the path in the video. Besides these things, Caribbean also have lobsters and crabs that you can get on islands usually. Don't forget to check the shores as well because there you can find something like porcini, miller mushrooms and so on. They got lots of cargo to sort out. This might be a good spot to find some ingredients. Second location with great amount of ingredients is Kingdom of Corona. Go to the town and start robbing these arseholes. Smash everything that you see and rob them of their fruit. Because fuck them, you need your Grand Chef Keyblade. At this settlement, go into the water and there you can find mussels and scallops. To get sea bass, go to wildflower clearing and just follow the path from the video. Now for Arendelle ingredients. These were pain in the arse to find. Follow the path from the video and you'll get to raspberries, portobello and blackberries. 
Ingredients that I have shown in the video are the ones that I had most trouble finding. The rest were not an issue, because I picked them up while adventuring, so they are quite easy to find. In the description I'm gonna leave a link to a video where you can find all 7 flans, because they drop specific fruit, and also a link to a website where you can find a list of all ingredients and where to find them. That would be all. Thank you for watching, I hope this video helps. I'm done with this bloody game, this completely killed my will to do any more videos for Kingdom Hearts 3. Expect a review in next couple of days. Anyway, that's it. Hope we find some ingredients around here.